Previously on Asia's Next Top Model, the girls got a hairy situation exposed on camera. Action. When I step up. Some were a ball, while others were extremely I amusing. I feel perfect like me and you. In the end, Asta masked her shy personality. I love my hair. And won the challenge. The girls relied on their faces to share some beauty secrets, but not everyone has a good secret. Remember, it's friendly, it's not sultry. Yeah. Sophia's quite confident shine beautiful and placed her at the number one spot. Keep it up. And it was a heart-wrenching scene when BFF's Kate and Rachel found themselves in the bottom two. Kate. I knew it's gonna be like that. Rachel's exit left Kate heartbroken. Seven girls remain, each vying for the top prize of a modelling contract covering the UK and Europe with London-based store models, including a three-month all-expenses-paid working trip to London, a cover shoot with Harper's Bazaar magazine, a cash prize of 100,000 Singapore dollars, a contract to become the face of Canonix's 2013 campaign and drive away in a new Subaru XV. Who will be one step closer to becoming Asia's next top model? When Leisha left, the house feel quite like uh, so empty. And I think now the most affected is the cave. It's just gonna be so. Rachel promised, like we can stay top free. Rachel left one letter for me, and she said, Cage, be strong and be yourself, be confident. And this is making me so, yeah, it's sad. I know, it's hard. Sometimes you have to be alone. The last elimination was really hard, but at the same time, I know Kay's really strong and she's going to continue on. Of course, always Rachel, because she's my wife. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to comfort Kate anymore. She'll be fine. You don't have to worry about comforting her. She's got all the girls like surrounding her right now. She'll be fine. I think that everybody reacts differently to every situation. I'm not a bad person, but I don't really care about them. I mean, they wouldn't do that for me. If I get eliminated, you'll see they'll be like... At first, like, I was expecting Jessica's picture to win. Oh, no, that was really shocking. I was like, oh, my gosh. <laughs> I'm very surprised that Sophia's photo won Best Photo because she looks really ugly. I don't know how they made the decision. <laughs> your face is your fortune. Are you ready to put your game face on? Love, Nadia. Makeup competition. My makeup scales from 1 to 10 is 0. 1 is the lowest, but mine is 0. We don't know. I don't know how to put the makeup. When I do my own makeup, I do concealer. Would you know me put eyeshadow? She knows. She's a professional makeup artist. Well, I like doing makeup. I kind of learned to do a little bit more with in college and things like that and all your girlfriends would gather in like one apartment. What do you normally put for like the eye, eye makeup, you know? Well, what I do is this is my concealer. You do dots and then you just like part like softly do. Sophia is like this expert in makeup. I think it's really nice of her to like take time to, you know, show us how she does it. I use waterproof mascara during the day, but I have this mini one. Oh my, oh my god, god. this size is so
arrived in Singapore's most prestigious fashion design schools, the Rappos Design Institute, where you will learn to fashion the right makeup. And sharing her expertise with all of us today is celebrity makeup artist Karen Yi, who has worked all over the world with major celebrities from TV, movie, music personalities. Give some love to Miss Karen Girls. You guys need this, and we're going to get beautified today. Ready? Yes. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, we're going to start off with learning some uh, makeup tips first. I need a model, so I am going to get Jessica, because she has a very nice canvas to work on. Wow, it's like my heart pump, pump, pump. It feels so beautiful. I am just going to do something really fun and edgy on her eyes. You can use brown, black. It's just a base color that I'm applying. Then I'm gonna use my fingers as the blender. She's blessed with long, long lashes. Usually, if you have such strong eye, I would recommend something pale on the lips, really pale color. Karen, I have a question. Yes. I sometimes want to try with darker blushes, but I'm too scared. Anything of a gray tone on your skin will look really dirty. We don't want that. <laughs> yeah, we don't want that. The makeup lesson from Karen, it's really, really good. It was so helpful. So amazing. Now, I'm gonna do another look from Zach Posen. Natural, edgy. Fierce. I know the functions of the makeup, but like to put it on in an art form, that's a bit of a challenge. Same thing, base color. With this look itself, is a very extended eye. So you're gonna extend it from the corner of your eye and you're gonna bring it out, all right? When you contour, it's always under the cheekbone. You always pick a taupe or a brown taupe. The whole idea of a contouring is basically shadow. I was writing notes, I was like, oh my god, oh my god. I was just scribbling down whatever I could process. Voila! Oh. Well, I hope you will apply your new knowledge on fashioning different makeup looks. And I could see that you're all very attentive in Karen's lesson. <laughs> yeah. Which brings me to... Drum roll, please. It is your turn to recreate the autumn winter 2013 runway look which Karen demonstrated to all of you. Yes, exactly. Make a challenge! I'm like, oh, I'm screwed. We have four MAC tables with all MAC cosmetics for all of you to create this high fashion look. And you have 15 minutes to do this. Are you serious? 50 minutes to do this look? It's hard. And time starts now. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh my gosh, foundation monster. Oh my god. Steph, you can do it, you can do it. Oh my gosh, this is not what I expected. 10 minutes, Woo! you should be up to colors already. You see everyone has a different strategy, don't That's they? That's right. Most are doing lips first because I think the shadows has a bit more technique involved with it. Your lip, right? I have to put on my lip. lip. You have the foundation on. Oh yeah. Sophia, she's the best. Oh my gosh, she knows how to do makeup. So that's why I choose her to sit by her side, because I can cop. The other trick about doing your eyeliner is always to start it on your weakest eye first. Helena's eye is really, really pretty. So she got the liner down. She actually did a really good job. Sophia is very concentrated. It looks really well on her. Sophia, the eyeliner, she did a really good replica. Contour, very nice job. And she was very fast too. Okay, girls, you have four minutes left. Oh, are you serious? I was rushing. We have 15 minutes, so we're just running there, just trying to get everything done. And at the same time, um, I'm trying to remember how she did it. 
Melissa, I guess she couldn't find the right color or she forgot. She started using blusher to contour, so she started having a pink face. It made her look very old looking. It's so hard. Okay, time's come, girls. Five, four, three, two, one. Brushes down. Girls, make your way over here. I was a bit nervous because I'm not a makeup person. So I was like, oh no, how is this going to go? Okay, well, the challenge was to recreate the look that Karen demonstrated, which was autumn, winter 2013. It was a runway look, it's a high fashion look. So we had to pick the one that was closest to the look. Sophia. I like the way you do your liner. You did, kept it really, really clean. Very nice. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> Thanks, Sophia. Next model. Melissa. A bit pale for me. Yeah. I, I think more maybe play up on the eyeshadows. When we talk about being that contour, it was very reddish, so I think you used the wrong color. Oh, okay. okay. It's a bit more, browner? Yeah, it should be yeah, more taupe, more grey brown. Next up, Helena. You got the nice uh, eyeshadow down, the color down well. This looks actually suits her quite well. Good job. Thank you. And the uh, winning model for that. Thank you. It's Sophia. Winning the challenge was like really like amazing. <laughs> I was lucky that other girls just don't do makeup themselves as often. Now, as a prize, you win a Haman Ritual Spa Treatment. Oh. Espa at Resorts oh, World Sentosa. Oh, oh my God. And you get to bring a friend to come and enjoy that spa treatment with you. Oh. Yeah. No, the me. It's okay. Relax. <laughs> <laughs> I went to spa. Spa. Let me ask one question. She's the first best makeup in the seven. I'll say Helena. Helena. Then she got kind of angry because... <laughs> so I didn't want to know that! Oh. I was first runner-up, so if it wasn't for her, I would be the winner. So I'm very pissed off about that. I don't think anybody deserves to win except for me. Many congratulations. Thanks. Hello, Kate. Hello. Welcome to Espa Resorts World, Sentosa, Singapore. This is Espa flagship spa in Asia. So wow. I'd love to take you around and yeah, show you the yeah. facilities. <laughs> yeah, it was really exciting to get out of the model house, have fun together. And yeah, it was really, really nice to just have that moment. And <laughs> I was happy. And it's my friend, she got it. So it's good. I'm sure they'll be talking about us. Oh, what the Kate and Sophia are doing right now? Kate is so much. <laughs> ding dong, ding dong, ding dong. And we see Sophia's present and there's a letter on top that says for Sophia. Oh my goodness, you guys. <laughs> Are we supposed oh, to punch them? No, things? we're not. But she <laughs> will never know. So, Sophia got another present, got delivered to the house. Hey, oh, it's oh, so nice! Oh, oh my god, that's so annoying. Why didn't I win anything? I was a little bit jealous, but yeah, okay, good for her, whatever. <laughs> This is better. Yeah, because in hotel, what are they going to do? Nothing. <laughs> just watch TV. Yeah, they watch TV. I've never had an experience like that. It was amazing. Maybe a once-in-a-lifetime spa experience. <laughs> I would definitely go to the spa with Kate again, for sure. Yeah, it's so good. Let's hide her stuff and give it to her one by one later. <laughs> oh my god. Oh yeah, we should do that. It's very good. Okay, cool. let's do that. Now let's just put some random shit in there. <laughs> Okay, we're in the model house. There's nothing else to do. So we hide the actual gift and we put in some random stuff inside the box. <laughs> oh my god! I didn't even know what the f is this. <laughs> oh, that is so good. 
Uh, so we came back from the spa, and then on my bed, I saw a box. And at that point, I was like, oh, okay, that's kind of funny, because I definitely wasn't expecting like anything more as a prize. As an additional reward, I've put together a little something just for you. Love, Nadia. Oh. In the box and it was like toilet paper <laughs> and a uh, slipper. <laughs> she was laughing and everybody was laughing and I gave her the presents that actually were there. <laughs> this is what she actually oh, wow. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> the real present ended up being a pair of black skinny jeans pair of black pumps and a nice black fitted uh, bandage dress. Da, 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 da. Da. Wow. wow! Sophia was so surprised and so excited. And then one minute later, she like flipped a switch. Isn't it kind of rude to open someone else's present? Strange, like if one of them got like a present on their bed, I would never think to, oh, I should open the present. Was really disappointed after. <laughs> Oh, oh, just we didn't open the letter, though. No, we didn't open the letter. We didn't open the letter. <gasps> Nadia! 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 Beauty for a cost is never only skin deep. Tomorrow, you will give back and go back to basics. Love, Nadia. Oh never skin cancer. For a cancer, it's yeah. your photo shoot. Yeah. Oh my goodness! That sucks. So, I just ate a shitload of food. I was a bit nervous because it was possible that we could do nude and I will be very shocked if they say I look too sexy because there was no way I was sexy today. Maybe no makeup. No makeup. Please yeah. stop. I was nervous. I was nervous as hell. About the skin thing? I was born like this. Sometimes hormones, I'm just saying, just saying. Good night! the movies at Universal Studios Singapore. Meet over 100,000 marine animals. Discover the world's largest aquarium with over 800 species. And Asia's ultimate destination. Resorts World Sentosa, Singapore. is not just here. This is something bigger. Pressure. She's never at any pop photo shoot. She's usually at elimination only. Well, it's lovely to be here. And the reason that I'm here is because today we're doing a shoot for a cause. And that cause is the World Wildlife Fund, or WWF. I was so excited because this is a cause that I actually believe in and I actually work for. Now, we will be working today with the beautiful cause of Edward Kutabarat. Hi, girls. Edo has been working really hard to preserve the traditional textiles and crafts of Indonesia and has won many accolades for the work that he's been doing. Shooting you today is Kevin Al. Hi, ladies. Looking forward to be working with you guys today. <laughs> Kevin has been working with some of Hollywood's biggest celebrities, so he's going to make you all look fabulous. And your best photographs today will be auctioned off for WWF. <laughs> Kate Ma. WWF. Wow. No necklace, no earrings, just the flowers. Yes. Today it's really great that we get to kind of go out a little bit, like the models on loot. <laughs> models gone wild. Girls, maybe you can come around for a little bit. Today's shoot is slightly different because we're going to add on an illustrator and come in and add more layers. It's going to take a little bit of imagination, okay? Because you need to imagine that you're in this beautiful, lush forest. Okay, good luck. Thank you. Hi. 
Stephanie, this is Elaine from WWF. Hello. What we are doing is to showcase our work towards um, humans wanting to live in harmony with nature. Our plant is really in a bad state right now. I have a daughter and I would do something to save the environment for her. I love that. Tip of your skirt, swing it around. Yes, good, good. Beautiful. Okay, hold on. That's nicer. Yeah, yeah. that's it. Whenever I see Nadia smiling, and so I feel like I really did well. Something magical is in the camera. Beautiful, beautiful. I love that. Stephanie's really beautiful. We just had to get her a little bit more relaxed. I don't want to be in second or third anymore. Can I get this photo, please? Use the branch if you feel like lying down, sitting down. You can do whatever? You can do whatever. When she closed her eyes, yeah, she, was like, she was really gone. You could tell yeah, she was gone yeah. and she opened and she reconnected. Yes. Yeah. Straight, straight, because your dress is so... Hands well, down. Wonder, yeah, right hands there. down. Yeah. Okay. From the very beginning, there's been an issue with Kate's hands and she was doing magic hands again today. A little bit more glow in your face. Think Tinkerbell. Yes. That's it, right there. I don't want to be in the bottom too. I can. Right now, I, re I really need a good photo. Okay, Jessica, very beautiful. Stay there. Yep, yep, yep. And I love the couple of shots of you looking down like that. I love the stuff you're doing right now. For the last photo shoot, I think that I will be a winner. I want the judges to see that I'm so strong in this competition. Very beautiful. Give me more. That's it. You're off to a great start. Beautiful, beautiful. Right there. When Jessica was shooting, being in the nature, being dreamy and all that, it's kind of her element. Beautiful, nice, beautiful. Nice, Chin down nice. just a slight bit. That's it. That's it. Right there. I'm so happy because I'm quite like a love and development. I think they like my picture. That's it. Very soft. I love it. Very beautiful. Done. Thank you very much, Jessica. I want to see that joy in your face, in your eyes. Beautiful. Last time I got the feedback that I lose my energy in my eyes. But this time that's not going to happen. I'm just going to do very well. Beautiful. Right there. Right there. Give me more of that. Don't turn your foot too much. Your right leg, put it straight. Try and do it with your two legs together. Just shake it out. Asa, shake it out real quick, okay? I am a size 41. I was wearing a size 42 wedge and still it was so small for me. My toes were spilling out. No, no, no. Feet, point it. your feet to the camera. Nope. No. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Asa, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I'm so excited. Winning the challenge was like really like amazing. I'm proud of myself for improving and I'm here to win this competition. Okay, ready? And let's do it. Right there. I think your smile looks very forced. I think she's a little nervous. It's definitely taken me a little bit of time to sort of coax her out of her shell. I want to see that glow coming from your face. I want to see that energy from your eyes. The outfit was a little bit hard to work with in the sense of showing the shape of the dress. Watch your eyes and your mouth. Soft mouth and your eyes a little bit softer. Sophia, if you saw an orangutan, what would you do? <laughs> I would be like, woo! Sophia's still holding a lot of tension in her mouth and posing a little bit awkwardly. It was difficult to really kind of get her out and she still seemed a bit clumsy with her feet. You look very uncomfortable, so just kind of relax a little bit. I thought it would be much more natural and playful, and yeah, I struggled a lot on that. So I was like very disappointed after. Thick, delicate, I like that. Very soft, very delicate, that's it. Beautiful. I honestly keep on thinking, every elimination, okay, Melissa's gone, Melissa's gone, but she's constantly improving, 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 so it's quite a shock. Imagine a wrong time here. I've been battling with all these shadows and, you know, people doubting me the whole time that I don't look like a model, you know? Melissa, don't bend your body too much because you want to get, keep, you want to keep that length, right? Okay. I don't need to always look tall and amazing. Just need to suck it up and show them I want to win this. Can I, can I go on the ground? On the ground, yes. Melissa really tried very hard. She moved to the tree, she tried to lie down, and which the other girls didn't do it. But for some reason, I just didn't feel anything from her. Like, I had to, like, I was fighting with her. Relax, let your body go, drop your shoulders. Melissa's face was a bit like, 
I'm lost in the forest. Don't know what's happening. I feel good about my photo shoot, so I hope they pick a good photo. Thank you, Kevin. I do a lot of work for the WWF. Oh, do you? Yes. Perfect. So you're the perfect person for this. Let's try to win this, all right? Actually, I do charity work a lot in Hong Kong. Have done for the WWF. I'm a good model. I've been doing big jobs. More glow in your face. Lighter, lighter. Helena gave a lot of typical model poses. I made a conscious effort. I was like, before, no sexy. I was huge doe eye today. So I don't know if this is sexy. Everything straight, straight to the camera. Okay. With the neck. With my neck. Okay. I think Helena is a little bit stiff. Uh, she still had some issues with her mouth. You're looking a little bit scared. Scared? Less posy. Okay. Oh. Uh. Think there, okay? Oh, sorry. It was hard for her to sort of try something new. A lot of her poses when she tried to break out of it felt a little awkward. Last one. Relax the mouth. Okay, you're done. Thank you. Thank you. I just did so badly though. I know that I can actually deliver. I've been modeling before, you know. Oh, I'm doing so badly. I'm such a bad model. Got upset at the end because the photographer just kept on saying, you're too posy, stop posing, stop posing. So how was your shoot? It was good. How was yours? It was really good. <laughs> Amazing. Sometimes it's just they don't give me a chance to express myself sometimes. I don't know. That was fun. <laughs> that was really good. How's everything? How was your shoot? Um, it was okay. Oh, I was Helena's. Oh my god, she was really upset about it. She was like, I'm going home for sure. And the competition is really like heating up. It's like really, really strong people in the house and you never know what's gonna happen. What are you guys doing? <laughs> I saw your shoot. Your was quite good. Are you okay? By the way, are we okay? Because I feel as though like every time I try to like speak to you, you're just like, okay, whatever. I don't trust everyone in the house, so I just so? do my own thing. But yeah, so I'll talk and be fine, but I just can't do it all the time. It's kind of freaky. It really is freaky to see how good of an actress she is. It's like, of course you're insecure. That's why you're a bully and making up some story and trying to like twist something like about me. Yeah, I mean, I, I think I have the right to have like my own feelings about people in the house. Which is fine. And, like, I can respect that. If you said there's no problem, there's no problem. I'm fine. I was just, just asking a question. I don't know what you want. Sophia, I know. Like, she seems really sweet, but if you actually get to know her, she's very mean. I'm just trying to, like, make amends with everybody in the house, and then, like, the only person I feel, like, quite mean is you. I'm just saying, because I feel hurt. Okay. I'm ready for someone else to go home. Not me. I'm ready for someone else to go. seventh round of judging. The stakes are high in this competition as the winner walks away with some pretty amazing prizes, including a modeling contract covering the UK and Europe with Storm Models, a three month all expenses paid working trip to London. You'll land yourself on the cover of Harper's Bazaar magazine. You will also win 100,000 Singapore dollars. You will be the face of the Canon X's campaign 2013 and drive away in a new Subaru XV. On to our panel of judges. The multi-talented Ton Anthony Tyler. And our guest judges this week include Elaine Tan, who is the CEO of the Worldwide Fund for Nature Singapore. 
celebrity photographer, Kevin Al, who you worked with for the shoot this week. So let's get this started. So the girls had to use their beauty in a nature-inspired photo shoot this week. So which one of the girls blossomed in this photo shoot and which was kind of dull? First up, Stephanie. Let's have a look at your best photo. In this photograph, I really think that you've nailed it. Definitely one of my favorite pictures. Very soft, very delicate, having that awe and sense of wonder, which I think you did a really great job there. I think the seamlessness in which you blended with the natural environment, that came across really well for me. Thank you. Kate, let's have a look at your best photo. What do you think? But ah, I like it. To be honest, a lot of the photos that we looked through, your hands were kind of all over the place. This was a lucky shot that your hands were kind of there. Jingle bells are tricked. No. You need to control those crazy hands of yours. What I give you high marks on is what's happening here. But it should be a mind-body thing. Thank you, Kate. Fly away. Thank you, Kate. Melissa. How did you enjoy the shoot outside in nature? It was fun, but I tried to remember that it was for a cause. It got a little bit, bit more serious. Well, let's have a look at your best photo. First of all, I felt that you were very serious. Oh. You needed to be a bit softer to be actually believable, okay? But for me, somehow during the photo shoot, I felt like I was fighting with you. I couldn't pull that emotion out from you. It felt like it was such an important shoot that you were stuck in your own head. When you try too hard, it doesn't really connect. This photo for me though, I just see stunned, awkward and flat. Your eyes are like blank. As much as you try and try and try, don't ever forget where you're meant to be. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Sophia. Well, let's have a look at your best photo. It's not that great. In this particular pose, you lost one arm your neck and then you're pulling quite hard on the pocket of the dress. It's not a great photograph. Unfortunately, you're kind of tumbling down the hill here with this one. You were very detached from the environment. Sense of um, embracing nature didn't come through at all. Thank you. Jessica. You look excited. You walk down here. I think this is the most yeah, confident we've confident. seen you walking down here. I love nature. Every time that I feel something, I go to the nature and I feel I'm loved. Let's have a look at your best photograph. I just love nature so much. It clearly shows, and that was the magic. A top model needs to be versatile, and you did it very well. You were absolutely in your element. From the first shot, you coming up, you just nailed that emotion. You just belong in that image. That bird looked very natural coming up your hand, and like I believe it. This was my personal favorite. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Ashta, let's have a look at your best photo. So in this picture, first of all, what's happening is that that one hand that you have that's lost is actually giving you extra hip. So it's not very strategically placed. The next thing is that your feet, these were the best feet. Some of your pictures of your face are even more beautiful. But your feet are kind of all kind of wonky all over the place. But definitely this is the weakest photo you've done so far. Thanks, Ashton. Helena. How are you doing? I'm good, thank you. You're good? Yes. Are you sure? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because I saw after you finished your photo shoot that you were crying. Oh, oh I, I, I apologize. It wasn't because of the photo shoot. I was just trying to keep it composed. I had such a bad migraine and I just, oh, afterwards. I just, and my shoulder kept on dislocating. I just let it out after, sorry. Let's have a look at your best photo. What runs through your mind when you see this photo? I think it's believable, my face. This was one of one. If you had a migraine and your shoulder kept dislocating, I can understand why you looked the way you did. Because you looked scared, disorientated and disconnected. What was going through your mind? Were you nervous? I wasn't really nervous. I was quite calm inside. For some reason, that calmness didn't show 
to your face. This is a collaboration. If something hurts, tell me. I didn't realize it really affected my performance. I really tried to not think about it. I have a hard time believing your story a little bit. And I, just, I don't mean to use it as an excuse. You said you don't we're, believe we're me. We're just here to sort I don't of give you an advice excuse. on how to really be bad. better, right? Pardon? We're just here to try to give you advice on how to be better. Yeah, no, I Because you're already here that. because you have something. You're already here because people see something in you. I don't hate the photo. You tried, I think, to break away from not going into the sexy mode. It works as a catalog shoot. Thank you. The judges and I will now deliberate, and when we return, we will know who is still in the running towards becoming the first ever Asia's Next Top Model. The girls were all in a nature-inspired shoot this week, and some of them were really, really present. For example, Kate, when she closed her eyes, she was really somewhere else. She was there. You could tell, like right on her face, even like just the emotion, her eyes like rolling around her head. She looked around in wonderment straight away. I think she needed very little instructions to feel very part of her surroundings. In contrast to Sophia, I guess had too many things going on in her mind. This is definitely one of her worst shoots, which is a bit surprising because we've been seeing such good progress from her. And last week she was up there at the top. I think it's really a shame. She's going from the top to the bottom. And then we have Ashta, a beautiful girl who seems to be riding on this. I didn't understand the pose at all. It just totally disconnected with me. Stephanie. I think this is Stephanie's shoot, though, in a way. Like what you needed her to embody or emote. To me, that's kind of what I get from her already. Right? Body language-wise, she took that one hand and put it on her heart. It's just so soft, so delicate, and yep. just... Yeah, I do like the hand placement a lot. Jessica really embodied the shoot, and she took direction well, and she almost didn't really need any directing. No, I, I love shooting her. I think right from the first shot, nailed it. I just can't fault this picture at all. Just so beautiful, the picture. Did she cry in the shoot? No, no. she didn't cry, but Helena did. Because she had a bad shoulder. You think? She said she had a bad shoulder. There was no indication through the entire shoot. Honestly, I couldn't buy that story. I think she just made it up standing there. Her attitude was not great on, on the shoot. Wasn't sure if she was angry or right, if she right. was scared. And today, when we were giving her tips on how to grow, she turned around, stomped back up the stage, stood up there and snarled at us. And that's a stinky attitude. No agent wants to work with a model with a bad attitude. I hate to compare Melissa to the other girls, but if you compare these two attitudes... Well, you can't compare the attitudes. Why, why not? Because it's about a photo shoot and whether you look good a in a dress shoot. or not. As a model and the photo, she's weak and poor. At this stage, you know, I'm talking about a stinky attitude versus an attitude who takes an advice from us. All right, judges, I think we've reached our decision and we can bring the girls back in. Okay. You're flirting with a hot female stranger in an elevator. You want to spice things up, so you press the emergency button. Here's what could happen. She finds you bold and sexy. She finds you bold and sexy, and so does her twin sister. She finds you bold and sexy, so does her twin sister, and so does her twin sister's twin sister. She's a nearsighted contract killer who's mistaking you for her target. You're sent into a parallel dimension only populated by 21 to 23-year-old girls who have a fear of commitment. Nothing happens. The button is broken. She finds you bold and sexy, and she sneezes hot dogs. It's actually a button that has been secretly installed by Hugh Hefner back in 1967 when he was using this elevator quite often. There's only one way to know what will really happen. Press to play. Do you aspire to be a top model? Enter our contest and you can be on your way to a career with Storm Model Management in London. See store displays for details. Playboy Fragrances. For her and for him. Seven beautiful girls 
stand before me. But I only have six photographs in my hand. These photographs represent the girls who are still in the running towards becoming Asia's next top model. Best photograph this week goes to Jessica. Congratulations, Jessica. You're still in the running towards becoming Asia's next top model. The runner-up for best photo goes to... Stephanie. Congratulations, you're still in the running towards becoming Asia's next top model. Kate. You're still in the running towards becoming Asia's next top model. Thank you very much. Thank you. Ashta. Congratulations. Thank you for giving me another chance. Sophia. Sophia. At this stage in the competition, it's really heating up. It's really, really close. Congratulations, you're still in the running towards becoming Asia's next top model. Melissa, Helena, please step forward. Two beautiful girls stand before me but I only have one photograph in my hands. This photograph represents the girl who's still in the running towards becoming Asia's next top model. Who will be going home today? Is it the girl with some potential, but is starting to show a bad attitude? Or is it the best student in class, but doesn't have the complete package? Helena, a bad attitude doesn't fly. When we give you advice, it is for you to grow. We certainly don't expect you to stamp your way back up across the runway and back up onto the stage and glare at us. It is highly disrespectful. The judges are tired of hearing your excuses and stories. Be confident that you are good enough without having to play any games because you will not last in this industry. Helena, congratulations. You're still in the running towards becoming Asia's next top model, but you have to shake off all the negativity. Can you do that? Start fresh. We're here to help you. Melissa, we've loved you for so many, many reasons. And I don't think this is the last that we're going to see of you. Mm -hmm. It has been an amazing journey. You have been such a star. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Don't feel so bad, I guess, because Nadia said, like, you know, best student. That made me feel really good inside. I will miss stepping out to the judging panel and hearing them tell me I'm really positive, but I don't look like a model. <laughs> I was really glad for pushing my boundaries and, you know, going all around and giving it my all. So now when I, like, I literally, when I look back, I have no regrets. I am still a jovial, bubbly kind of person. <laughs>
On the next Asia's Next Top Model, Helena reaches her breaking point due to the judges' critiques. But Nadia said she's sick of my excuses. Todd thinks I'm a liar. Yet her persona is still in question back at home. For you to come into the room like that and say I'm being mean to you, it's because I have a very huge accusation to say I'm being mean to you. Apart from Helena, someone also takes a fall. More energy, come on. Okay, cool.